road, we're gonna go hit the first four miles of it, but it should be closed after that. We got a cranky kid with us. This is the last episode of a three-part series of us taking a four-day trip to explore some of Arizona's amazing trails. I will leave a link in the description below if you're interested in watching the first two episodes of the trip. We started off near Phoenix and made our way north. We are now hitting a couple more trails in Sedona before we make our way to Flagstaff to finish off the trip.
already because it's closed in about one to two miles. We had a Bronco join us too. Just random people getting along. I always love this undercut though, it's super cool. Good for a, a nice photo op. Just wait for the gang to catch up. I thought I'd show you this view. Man, I wish the camp area was open. It's so awesome up there. But, just gotta wait till next time. Maybe a turtle, but it's a turtle that can still make it where we're going. That's all that matters. Black sheep of the family, even though it's green. As you can see over there, the gate is locked. So can't go any further, but our boy finally fell asleep from being cranky. And there's a spot called merry-go-round over here with a really cool view. I'm gonna chill in the Jeep and uh, make sure the boy's all right. And Sid is gonna give you a tour of merry-go-round. It is so pretty out here though. So we're at the top of this um, rock. It's really pretty, but look at this view. The road's closed, so we can't go camping past this point on Schnebly Hill, but hopefully the next time we come out, we will be able to. Well, that's it for Schnebly Hill, guys. Oh, my back. But hopefully next time we'll be up further. Um, we're gonna go find another camp spot for last night and uh, Oh, and probably get some fuel. We're all at about a quarter tank. I'm on empty. Oh, Larry's on empty. Even better. Even better. And, uh, yeah, it is downhill, Larry. You could just coast. Oh, I'm, I'm probably okay. Just pop her in neutral and let her fly. So, yeah, we're going to go cook some ribeyes tonight. So, we're excited. Good morning, guys. So, 
Today is our final day of our four day adventure out in the Arizona desert and pines. Um, we're camped near Sedona again. Um, gonna go hit a couple trails here near camp, go maybe see some Indian ruins. And then we gotta make our way to Flagstaff. Uh, if we get time and flag, we will uh, hit the Cinders OHV area for a minute. And uh, if not, we'll just have to head home. But it's been a great adventure. The last four days have been pretty amazing. Lots of cool wheeling, lots of beautiful scenery. But we're grateful you guys can join along on this. Uh, what do you have to say, Quince? It's been awesome. Yeah? Super cool. Good. I highly, highly recommend all those trails. And, uh, definitely a must do. Mm -hmm. Especially Crown King, man. That was, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'd say in a stock rig, you can do three quarters of Crown King, but towards the top, it's not very stock friendly anymore. No. Yeah. I mean, left his, on 31s, you're going to get your rock. And you might still want lockers too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> or a winch. But yeah, well, we're going to go hit the road and film this trail. It's a pretty easy trail. One's called Greasy Spoon and the other's called Outlaw Trail. And we'll show you the Indian ruins and then we'll head on out of here. So we decided to start the day with Outlaw Trail. The trail ultimately ends at the Indian Ruins, putting us right where we need to be for Greasy Spoon.
favorite toy. But that's about it. Come on, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's pretty easy. He's pretty content back there. Made it to the Indian ruins. Here's all the information on them. Got Braxton trying to play with the sign. But there is a fee area if you guys do come out here. You can actually pay at the garden machine right there. It's only five bucks and it gets you a Red Rock Pass for the day. So if you want to go anywhere else in Sedona that accepts the Red Rock Pass, um, you can use it for the rest of the day. But let's go walk to the ruins. Hey. We're walking over to the ruins. I see a telephone wire over there. They must have had uh, cell service back in the day. Yeah. We gotta like go that. call the other tribe and start a war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe that was a zip line. Don't bust the crust. Stay on the trail. <laughs> Ooh, this one's gonna hurt. <laughs> That's so cool. It feels more like a part of the Yeah. This <laughs> map pulled up the sign out. What do you think, Brax? Better artist than you, Connor. I wonder how they, they got up there to do that one. Way up there. All these rooms, just imagine them with roofs on them. They probably did at one point, right? Oh, for sure. Hey, squirrel, you're not supposed to be in here. Oh, Well, that was cool Indian ruins, but we're going to go hit Greasy Spoon Trail now and uh, probably get on the way back home, back to Flagstaff, get some lunch, see if we got time to hit the uh, Cinder's OHV. So if you're 
service calls it Dimeback Gulch, though. Super pretty trail, though. Are you eating your applesauce, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Is it good? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. You want to hold the camera? Yeah? Passenger seat still. <laughs> areas and we've been in a lot of high traffic areas lately.
video didn't really do it justice, but it was pretty steep. What do you think about that one? That's cool, but I want to hit this. Ooh. But I'm sure we're not allowed to being where we're at. So Probably not. of our time here in Sedona we got to head up to flag now run some errands and uh, if we get time we'll hit the cinders but if not we're heading straight home from there so we'll show you the pretty drive through Oak Creek Canyon though that's always gorgeous but just getting aired back up now getting ready to hit the highway made it to Cinder's OHB. We're gonna go check it out for maybe 30 minutes, but then we gotta head on home. Got work in the morning, but we'll see what all the hype's about.
and the trip. Well, as you can see, Quince isn't with us right now. His uh, alternator decided to take a dump, so he's over changing that. Uh, but I think I'm gonna head over and help him, so. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can keep going if you want. But. No, we ought to go help. Yeah, I'll stay as a group. Cherokees need to stay together or else we'll all break down individually and that would suck. <laughs> well, you guys ready to head out then? Okay. This poor guy, he can't have, drive four XJs on a road trip without one casualty. At least it's just an alternator. <laughs> At least it happened about a mile from the O'Reilly's. Well, we'll get this swapped out and get back on the road. We got a two hour drive home. So finagling, but the old one's out. A little bit noisy. We're gonna stab the new one in now. Gotta check the voltage. He's got all the voltage, so let's get the hell out of here. We can go home now. Top off our gas and get on home. It's getting cold and we got work in the morning. But, new alternator's in. Not better than Yeah. But this four day trip of wheeling and road tripping comes to an end. Uh, we'd like to thank you guys so much for watching though and uh, Please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. We really appreciate it. We're nearing 500 subscribers. Hope to make that a thousand mark soon. But you guys have a good night and we'll catch you all later. See you on the next one.